Hi friends, and welcome to Tiny Technical Tutorials, where we do bite-sized lessons for today's tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take your agenda slides to the next level. We'll start with a simple agenda slide like this, and turn it into something a little more interesting and impactful, like this. Here in PowerPoint, I'm going to insert a new slide. You'll see I don't have any fancy master slides or layouts here, I'm just using the blank presentation from PowerPoint. I'll insert a new blank slide. And now let's get to work. I'll start by inserting shapes and a line. I'll drop this right over here on the fourth grid line. And we'll choose kind of a dark gray color for this one. And then for weight, we'll choose three point. Next, we'll insert some other shapes, namely a circle. To make sure it's a perfect circle, just hold down your shift key and that'll give it the same height and width. And we'll make this 0.8 inches by 0.8 inches. For fill, we'll make that white. And for outline, I'm just gonna choose a standard color here. Feel free to choose your own color. For outline width, we'll go with three as well to make that consistent with the line behind it. And then I'll just copy paste. We need six of these total for our sample agenda. I'll grab all three of those, copy, paste, and there we go. I'll just space these out a little bit more, I'll sort of eyeball it, but there is a really handy feature if you select all of them, come up to align, and distribute vertically. Now they've all got the same space between them. So these are sort of serving as our bullet points for the text that'll go on the agenda. Let's insert that text, so insert text box, this first one will be Team Introductions. We'll do the pipe character, and we'll say this is going to run from 9 to 9.10. We'll format this one. This will be aligned to the right. Increase the font, let's say 28. And this one will also go with that darker gray color. And we'll align this to the top circle right here. There we go. I'll use the same steps to fill in the other text and I'll be right back. All right, so there's the different topics on the agenda. The last thing we need to do is title the slide so people know that it's the agenda, it's a little bit more clear. To do that, I'll insert a text box. This one will make caps. I'll go with that same color of blue that we're using for the circles under standard colors. This one we're gonna rotate so it's going vertically. And then we need a lot of contrast on the font. Let's go with 112 and see what that looks like. There we go. Maybe bump it up a little bit more, 116. So it spans that space of the circles. I also need to center it, there we go. I'll move it over to the left a little bit. You Probably wanna play with the exact positioning till it looks right to you. But we're getting pretty close if we view this in slideshow mode. I think you'll agree that's a big improvement over where we started. So there you have it. That's one way you can take an ordinary agenda slide and make it into something more visually appealing and impactful. If you found this content valuable, we always appreciate the likes, subscribes, and shares. 